global warming has led to the sea ice around Antarctica to shrink, to disappear, almost. And we're getting to a point of non-return, where we won't be able to do anything about it. No. I reckon we've got about five to seven years now to make a marked difference. Not 2050, like this Tory government seems to think is a good idea. Madness. And then you've got the global, well, global warming deniers. They're everywhere. But there's one thing you cannot deny. is science. It's like math. Or maths. <laughs> Mathematics. You can't deny it, no. And it's true that well, the sea ice around Antarctica, it shrank to its smallest extent on record in February. But five years after the previous record low. You can't deny this stuff. It's ridiculous to do so. Well, researchers have said that, well... What was it, last Tuesday, I think it was? No, well, suggesting that this frozen continent may be less impervious to climate change than thought. It's not great, no. Anyway, welcome to Earth Trifle. And if you both kind, click like and subscribe. And maybe that bell icon. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> now, in late February, the ocean area covered by ice, well, it slipped below the symbolic barrier of 2 million square kilometres, around 772,000 square miles. For the first time since satellite ra records began in 1978. Now, this is according to a, a study in the journal uh, Researchers. Well... Well, they found that the key driver of the ice loss was a change in temperature. You don't say. Or global warming, you know. Now, those shifts in ice mass, are, well, they played a lesser role. Now, both the North and South Pole regions have well, warmed by roughly 3 degrees um, Celsius uh, compared to late of, well, 19th century levels. Three times the global average. But Antarctica encountered um, its first recorded heat wave in 2020. A heat wave in Antarctica. I me. With an unprecedented 9.2 degrees Celsius above the mean average. The mean maximum, sorry. And um, in March, a research centre in eastern Antarctica saw well temperatures. Um, well, they saw to thirty degrees above normal. Thirty degrees. This is madness, and we're not doing enough. No, that includes us all as individuals. We all need to make a difference in our lives. We need to do something to alleviate this, to make it easier, to try and well pull back from. Where we're heading. Severe sunburn. Well, unlike the sea ice in the Arctic, which has, well, diminished by 3% a year since the late 1970s, well, sea ice in the Antarctic expanded over the same period by 1% per decade. That's not good. Now, ice cover during this year's Austral uh, summer shrank, most around um, West Antarctica, which has been more vulnerable to global warming than the far larger East Antarctica. The sea ice budget. While melting sea ice has no discernible impact on sea levels, because the ice is already in the ocean water. In fact, when water freezes, it expands. You might expect the well the, the melted sea or the melted ice sorry to have less volume than it currently does. No. But the diminished ice cover is nonetheless a major concern because it helps accelerate global warming. It's also carbon capture in the ice. Being well 
released into the atmosphere. Now, Kenju uh, Yang, a professor at the Sun Yat-sen University in uh, Guanzhou, <laughs> I pronounced that, but hey -oh. Well, he's the co-author of um, this particular well, survey, this study. Now, when white sea ice, which bounces the sun's energy back into space, is replaced by dark, unfrozen sea. There's less reflection of heat and more absorption. Increased sea temperatures. Now he's, that's what he said in a, in a statement. Now this is what well, turns melts more sea ice, producing more absorption of heat, and it is a vicious circle. It's self-perpetuating. The end is nigh, <laughs> maybe. Well, pristine snow and ice reflect more than 80% of the sun's energy. 80% back into space. Whereas open sea absorb the same percentage, increasing the sea temperatures. That's startling. The, well, the record low, 1.9 million square kilometres on February the 25th, was 30% below the 1981 uh, 2010 average. The previous record was, well, just over 2 million square kilometres in 2017. Now, the maximum uh, sea ice extent in the uh, Antarctica has averaged around 18 million square kilometres in recent years. Now, to anal analyse the, um, the causes of this year's record ice loss, well, researchers have well they examined Antarctica's uh, sea ice budget. The ice added and ice lost, like a deficit, year by year, as well as a daily ice or well, sea ice drift or movement. Well, in summer, thermodynamic or temperature-related uh, pro processes dominated the sea melting through poleward heat transport. The study concluded. Now the record uh, minimum uh, sea ice extent in the Arctic is 3.4 million square kilometres. It occurred in 2012, with the second and third lowest ice covered areas in 2020 and 2019, respectively. Well, maximum sea ice extent has averaged around 19 million square kilometres. The ice sheets atop West Antarctica hold the equivalent of six metres of sea level rise. Where, a, well, East Antarctica's massive glaciers would raise global oceans by more than 50 metres. 50 metres. Now that's frightening. Anyone got a boat? You might need one. And yet we do nothing about this. Yet the science inclusive. These are facts. These aren't things we can hide away from. Or that we tried to. We have governments that quite frankly have one scandal after another. So the other important news, obviously what's going on in Ukraine is extremely important. But a lot of the other stuff, no. It's just they're just dead cats. Just to just Distract us from what's really important. They're flipping useless, that's what they are. Anyway, if you're most kind, then click like and subscribe, and maybe at the bell icon if you think we're worth it. <laughs> and um, then you'll, maybe you might get a little warm, fuzzy feeling in your pocket every time I upload another video. And also, please comment down below because I do read the comments, you know, and also. I learned from you too. Wish I didn't need to, to be fair. But there you go. So I'm going to say, that's her.